Ladies and gentlemen of the board, as we head triumphantly toward another record year, it may be strange for me to interfere with talk of climate change, but I fear that the evidence is clear. It's far worse than we thought. In short, our very way of life is under threat. Are we to let the things we cherish perish before our eyes? To watch the things we truly value meet a pitiful demise? Or should we wake up and take a look at what's at stake? Our oil wells, our coal cartels, our freedom to make profit out of anything that sells if we're forced to cut our carbon. These things will have to go, along with other vital elements that shape the world we know. A world where we're paid to spoil earth, air and sea, and Jeremy Clarkson's allowed on TV. <laughs> but now, all this is at risk from a supposed need to shift to a decentralised, rehumanised, fossil-free society based on genuine need, not elaborate greed, where excess doesn't equal success, happiness and health are valued over wealth, the fields are green, the air is clean, and I say to you that it absolutely will not do. <laughs> but don't worry. We do have a plan. Step one. We declare that we've seen the light, that the scientists are right and we have to act. In fact, they can stop all our protesting because we've been investing in some great solutions to this runaway greenhouse gas pollution. You see, denial worked for a while as a useful shield, but not so much of late. But if you're a leader in the field, then you control the whole debate. Wait, I know what you're going to say, but there is a way in which to appear to be a sincere green pioneer without doing anything so crude or cruel as giving up the fossil fuel. By splashing enough carbon credits around, we found some sparky little companies with some neat new tricks to plaster over this disaster with a techno fix. <laughs> like dumping iron in the oceans, closing our eyes, making a wish, hoping it might suck up some carbon as it wipes out all the fish. Or turning food crops into fuel, then acting baffled and surprised as rainforests burn for oil crops and global food costs rise. Or pumping carbon underground. We sort of think that it might stay, and though it's 20 years away, it lets us build coal plants today. Or launching mirrors in the sky, so the sun's rays only blaze down on the folks we want to fry. Or germinating GM germs, then setting them free to mop up just the right amount of carbon, and then hoping that they'll stop before the greenhouse level drops down off the wrong end of the page, where it says, Ice Age. Yes! Compared to us, Pandora couldn't look much amateur. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm, I'm really sorry about it. Actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> um, it's untried, untested, possibly crazy. Spray sulfur in the air to make the sky grow hazy. It's not that we deny this, or ignorant or lazy, but this son of a bitch is going to keep us rich for just a little longer. Some other ideas that aren't public yet. Air conditioning the Arctic. Recycling the sweat from tourists into dried up rivers. Using rioters for fuel. <laughs> Handing out blue tinted glasses so that everything looks cool. Holding the Olympics on the moon to distract everyone. And firing Naomi Klein into the sun. <laughs> that would be desperate to believe us when we say it's worth the risk, although our profits are the only thing we're guaranteed to fix because no one wants to live in some nightmare vision of a world of low emissions. Warm homes car free zones, more local stores skewed towards fresh organic food, safer streets where people can actually meet and breathe fresh air, get together and talk about the weather and how the world's resources are more fairly shared now that a small group of fossil fuel corporations aren't controlling them all. A dystopian society <laughs> where you can't fly that much but you can get a cheap bus run on renewable power that's been tried and tested and Jeremy Clarkson's been arrested! <laughs> so, stand up now and say with me, 
keep our corporations free. We don't want your justice, climate ethics. We want a techno, 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 tech